Shalom. Greetings. Welcome back. Let's get back into the Word. St. Matthew chapter 23, beginning at verse 1, all the way down to verse 39. St. Matthew chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. You got your Bibles? All right, let's begin. Verse 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples. All right, we got to put it in context. Who is Jesus? Jesus is a Hebrew Israelite. He's of the seed of Abraham. He's of the tribe of Judah. Israel is a 12-member nation, 12 tribes. Jesus is of the southern kingdom, which consists of Judah and Benjamin, called the Jews or Judah. Jesus is a Jew. He's of the tribe of Judah. And when you see the word Jew, it's only referring to the southern kingdom uh, of the Judah and Benjamin, or more specifically, just the tribe of Judah. Jews does not refer to all the tribes of Israel. Most people don't understand that, and they see that in the scripture, and they think when you say Jew, you're talking about all of Israel. <laughs> So I'm trying to help you understand it in the scriptures. Because if you don't, you're going to misinterpret the scriptures. And that's why many interpret the scriptures. Because they don't understand what Jews are. They think Jews is everybody in Israel. And it's just for the tribe of Judah or the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. It's not all of Israel. So Jesus is of the tribe of Judah. He is a Jew. Okay? You need to understand that. It says... He sp then spake Jesus to the multitude. Who is he talking to? Who, who are the multitude? The multitude also are Jews, Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah, or the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. They were two member nation uh, of the king, southern kingdom, Judah and Benjamin. So this is the multitude. And then it says, and to his disciples. Now his disciples are specifically... Uh, people that obey the word of God, hear the word of God, do what the word of God says to do. They're followers of Jesus Christ, who are also Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah, or the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. So this is what you have to understand. The multitude, they didn't say that they were disciples, they just called them multitudes. So they don't necessarily follow Jesus or believe what he's saying, they're just listening to what he's saying. <laughs> But the disciples are the ones who believe and accept Jesus as the Messiah, as the Son of God. Those are his disciples. He did not call them Christians. He called them disciples. Jesus did not come to establish a religion. He did not come to start Christianity. I know a lot of people may be upset with that statement, but nevertheless, it is a fact and it is the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Verse 2. Saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Who are the scribes and Pharisees? The scribes are the people that write things down as they're said. But they're part of the Pharisees who are the uh, chief priests and rulers of the day. The preachers, pastors, and teachers of the day. Uh, so they sit in Moses' seat. They're supposed to be the... The, the, the pastors, preachers, and teachers telling people about the law, about the word of God. He said, Moses see. So he, he's referring everyone back to Moses. Who's Moses? Moses is of the tribe of Levi. Moses was the person that led the children of Israel out of Egypt. So Moses is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Levi. <laughs> so Moses would have been of the Ten tribes that were scattered. But you got to understand in context that this is about Israel. Moses is an Israelite. The Pharisees and scribes are Israelite, Hebrew Israelites. Jesus is a Hebrew Israelite. The multitudes, the, the disciples, all of them are Hebrew Israelites. 
This is about Israel. It's not about everybody else in the whole wide world. You got to have put that in context. Verse 3. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. So what is Jesus talking about? He's talking about whatsoever the scribes and the Pharisees, the pastors, preachers, and teachers of the day, whatever they bid you about the law, about Moses. See, the scriptures is about Israel. The law was given to Israel. Whatever they bid you to observe, Jesus said, you should observe it and do it. But do not after their works, for they say and do not. So Jesus said, yeah, they, they telling you what the scripture says, but don't do with their works because they say it, but they don't do it. Verse 4, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them one, with one of their fingers. So this is the pastors and preachers and teachers of the day. This is what they do uh, during the time of Jesus. The scribes and the Pharisees. He says, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. <laughs> and they lay them on men's shoulders with all their rituals, all their man-made traditions. The same thing that's going on in the 501c3 corporations of the state churches with the pastors, preachers, and teachers in their man-made traditions. <laughs> Today is the Sabbath. You don't hear them talk about the Sabbath. Because <laughs> they want you to come on Sunday so you can pay your tithe. <laughs> They, they keep all these man-made traditions, but they don't obey and do what the Word of God says to do. They put all these burdens on you, make you pay your tithe when they don't have the authority to do that. <laughs> That's just like me asking my brother, hey, I'm, I'm over you, pay my... That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's not scriptural. They can't back it up. They read it in the Word, but they take it out of context. And that's what the... Uh, scribes and Pharisees did in the day of Jesus. They took the word of God out of context for their own covetous gain. They were lover of money. Same way the pastors, preachers today, they're lovers of money. So they lay the, the uh, burdens and grievous to be borne. They lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move with one of their fingers. <laughs> you pay your tithes, but a lot of them don't even pay their tithes. <laughs> Verse 5, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. <laughs> you see them, they come out with these long robes and everything. And okay, everybody got to stand up sometime when they walk in like they just, I don't know, they got, I guess. <laughs> but to be seen of men, that's how they are. That's how they were then, and that's how they are now. <laughs> and you know this. That, that the, Jesus said that, but all their works they do is for to be seen of men. <laughs> Everything that they do. You got to understand, these 501c3 corporation state-owned uh, buildings, they're, they're, they're churches. <laughs> they're, they're a business. They're a corporation. <laughs> And so, it's, it, everything is just a business to them. And that's what it's about. Verse 6. And love the utter, uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. <laughs> you see how they got a lot of these denominational churches with everybody sitting up in the front and on, on the stage and all this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same way today. The same way it was in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ doing his earthly ministry. It's the same way. Nothing has changed. Just the names. They used to call them synagogues. Now they call them churches. But now they're trying to get away from calling them churches. And call them centers and ministries. Trying to be all fancy. But they're still doing the same thing. Acting the same way. They love the uttermost rooms at the feast and the chief priests in the synagogue. 
the chief seats in the synagogue. They, they want to be uh, up high. <laughs> they want to be worshipped. A lot of them. They enjoy people calling them rabbi. Verse 7. And greetings in the market. And to be called of men. Rabbi. Rabbi. Minister. Reverend. Bishop. <laughs> they love those titles. Those names. Nothing has changed. You just got to understand the context. All the stuff that they're doing, they got from Israel. They got from the tribe of Judah. <laughs> they got from the Pharisees and the scribes. All these man-made traditions. The Romans took over and established Catholicism and Protestantism and all these other different isms and denominations and stuff, the ruling class has started Christianity with all its man-made tradition. <laughs> it's a religion. Jesus didn't come to start a religion. Jesus is coming back for a people. So all these 501c3 corporations, <laughs> they're picking up all these traditions from the Pharisees. All these different titles and names. <laughs> they want to be called, you know, bishop and uh, apostle and uh, rabbi. What are all these different reverend? <laughs> Got all these different degrees. Doctorial, master divinity and all this stuff. That's how they are. To make them feel important, I guess. Verse 8. Jesus said, but be not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. All ye are brethren. <laughs> Jesus said, look, just be called brethren. That's enough. You don't need to be called rabbi or master or anything. He said, for one is your master, even Christ, the Messiah. <laughs> See, that's what I'm telling you. They don't follow the scriptures. They just... Make up their own man-made tradition and everybody just go along with what they're doing and what they're saying. Even if it's not what the scripture says. Jesus said, be not called rabbi for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. <laughs> Verse 9. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. So the Catholics, they just totally go against what the Lord Jesus Christ is saying. They all want to be called father. <laughs> it's you gotta understand this this 501c3 corporation of the state, it's it's actually an antichrist church system. In the in the, the leader of it is the Pope. <laughs> all these denominations, all this Christian, it's an antichrist church system. Yeah, Christianity is a part of that too. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to cut me off? Go ahead, cut me off. Turn me off. I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. Jesus did not come to start Christianity. He did not come to start a religion. So everybody want to be called master and uh, all this stuff. Jesus said, need to be called you master for one is your master, even Christ. And call no man your father on earth for one is your father, which is in heaven. So Jesus is just telling them, look, your, your master is Christ. But you got to understand who he's talking to. He's not talking to everybody in the whole wide world. He's only talking to Israel. The scriptures are written for Israel. By Israel, to Israel, for Israel. <laughs> Everybody wants says for everybody in the whole wide world. Jesus is not talking to everybody else in the whole wide world. He's only talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah or the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. That's who he's talking to. He ain't talking to everybody in the whole wide world, so he don't mean this for everybody in the whole wide world. Verse 11. But he that is greatest among you, you shall be your, you shall be your servant. Jesus said, if you want to be great, you're going to be the servant. <laughs> but that's not how it is. Not even then, nor even now. 
the Pharisees, they wanted to be ruling over people. They would kick people out of the synagogue. People were scared of being kicked out of the synagogue. Same way it is in these 501c3 corporations, Antichrist church system. Folks want to be a member. <laughs> so they got to pay their tithes so they can be a member in good standing. <laughs> it's a corrupt Antichrist church system. That's what it is. Verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. These 501c3 corporation pastors, preachers, and teachers want to be exalted. They want people to basically worship them. Reverend so-and-so, to get up and introduce them. They got these long introductions about all their accomplishments. <laughs> their long list of... Uh, doctorates and degrees and blah 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 the scripture says whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a base and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted the scripture teaches us to humble ourselves but who who's supposed to humble themselves Israel Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah so I keep saying Israel so that you understand who I'm talking about let me make it ex uh, plain let me make it clear. I am not talking about the people over in the land called the nation of Israel. I'm not talking about them. They are not Israel. They're Ashkenaz. They're uh, fake. They don't have a lick of seed of Abraham in them. They're not of the seed of Abraham. They're not biblical Hebrews. They're not of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> They're not... Jesus is not talking to them. They're not Israel. Those people over there are fake. The scriptures say they are the synagogue of Satan. They call themselves Jews, but they're not. That's why they call themselves Jewish. They practice a religion, a Judaic religion. That's all they do, but they're not the biblical Hebrews. The biblical Hebrews, Israelites, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Judah, and all the rest of the ten tribes that are scattered, are scattered. <laughs> scattered to the four winds. All of Israel is scattered. They're not in Israel. The people over there that stole the land, and all the world go after them as Israel. You need to understand that. Your pastors, preachers, and teachers are not going to tell you this. But it is the truth, nevertheless. Those people are not Israel. So when I say Israel, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the Israel that's scattered all over. And uh, particularly the uh, tribe of Judah, which came over on the transatlantic uh, slave trade into the different parts of, of, of America in the Caribbean. We are the tribe of Judah. We're scattered. So that's what I'm talking about when I say Israel. Verse 13. So Jesus go ahead and kicks it off. He said, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. So Jesus said unto the scribes and Pharisees, Woe unto you. And the same thing refers to the 501c3 corporation. Corporation of the state. Pastors, preachers, and teachers in these uh, Sunday churches. Woe unto you. You shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. Y'all don't tell the people about the kingdom of heaven. You preach all this nonsense about it's your season and your tithe and being blessed. That's not preaching the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is for Israel. And you don't even tell them that. You know, everybody can make it into the kingdom of heaven. And that's a lie. That's not the truth. Jesus didn't say that. Jesus didn't come to start Christianity. Jesus didn't come to start a religion. Jesus is coming back for a people who are Israel. He said, you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. Against, he referring to Israel. <laughs> for ye neither go in yourselves. See, he's talking to them. Y'all, Hebrew Israelites, seed of Abraham, 
travel Judah. Y'all ain't going in because you don't believe. You don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Now, let me tell you something about being an Israelite. Just because you are Hebrew, just because you're an Israelite, just because you have the tribe of Judah, doesn't mean that you got heaven sold up. You have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You have to believe that Jesus is the Messiah. But like the scripture says, these are, they didn't believe. The, the uh, Pharisees, the scribes, the hypocrites. They didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God, even though they're Israelites. So they're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, you shut up the kingdom of heaven. You neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. So they was blocking the people that wanted to go into the kingdom of heaven. The scripture said if the blind lead the blind, they both going to fall into the ditch. And that's what's happening in these 501c3 corporations, the Antichrist church system with these pastors, preachers, and teachers. They're not telling you about the kingdom of heaven. They're not telling you who Israel is. So they're blocking you from entering into the kingdom of heaven. You going around thinking that Jesus came to start Christianity and Jesus came to save everybody in the whole wide world and Jesus only came for Israel. And so, you just like these scribes and Pharisees. You hypocrites. Verse 14, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses. And for a pretense, make long prayers. Therefore, you shall receive the greater damnation. He's still calling them uh, hypocrites. He said, woe unto you. And when he say woe, that's not a good thing. <laughs> woe means a sentence, a punishment. Woe unto you. In, 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 in the book of Revelation, they talk about woes. <laughs> that means you ain't getting into the kingdom of heaven. So, so it was in the, in the day that Jesus was ministering, so it is now. Woe unto you pastors, preachers, and teachers. You hypocrites. You devour widow houses and for a pretense make long prayers. You got all these women coming to your churches. Taking their money. They're giving you all their money. That's what he was talking about with the, the woman that gave everything that she had. This is who he's talking about, devouring widows, widows houses, <laughs> taking all their money. Tell them, yeah, you're going to be blessed. Just, just pay your tithes. <laughs> and then for a pretense, make long prayers. Man, did he pray. <laughs> saying a lot, but they, open his mouth, but ain't saying nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Therefore, you shall receive the greater damnation. The greater damnation. You, you're not going into the kingdom of hell. Damnation it means you're going to hell. That's what it means. You better act right, straighten up, and fly right. You better repent and get it right. You're going to be left out of the kingdom of heaven. He keeps on going. Woe unto you. Verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For ye can pass sea and land and make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. It, nothing has changed. I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> this Antichrist church system, these 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers, they do the same thing with these ministers that come unto them, make them proselyte. Yeah, y'all can be, have your own ministry, and y'all be a part of this ministry. And he says, and when he is made, he, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. <laughs> blind leading the blind, you're going to both fall into the ditch. <laughs> this ain't nothing changed. Jesus is coming back for Israel. Period. He didn't come to start Christianity. He didn't come to start a religion. And so whatever you're teaching, you're not teaching the kingdom of God. You're not teaching the kingdom of heaven. So you got these people following you about being blessed and pay your tithe. You just like the fact that the scribes and the Pharisees. Woe unto you. Verse 16. Woe unto you, you blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. 
but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. <laughs> They're man-made traditions and laws. That's all they cared about. They're man-made doctrine. Jesus said, Woe unto you, you blind guys, you blind leaders. Who you say whosoever should swear by the temple, and say that, oh, it, it ain't nothing. You can swear by the temple, it's nothing. But whosoever swear by the gold of the temple, oh, he, he's a debtor to the temple. Oh, you can't swear by the gold, but you can swear by the temple. <laughs> Jesus said, You fools and blind. He called them fools. You fools and blind. Well, what, whether it's greater, the gold or the temple that sanctified the gold. <laughs> so they hold more to their tradition and their doctrine than to the word of God. The same way it is today. This Antichrist church system, these pastors, preachers, and teachers hold more to their man-made doctrines and tradition than to the word of God. Verse 18. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever swear by the gift that is on the altar, he is guilty. See, they keep coming up with their own man-made doctrine and tradition and not doing what the word of God says to do. Jesus called them a fool again in verse 19. You fools and blind. For whether it's greater, the gift or the altar that sanctify the gift. <laughs> So Jesus have to correct them and tell them, look, y'all just stupid. You're blind. You're leaders of the blind. You're not telling the people the truth. Verse 20. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swear by it and by all things thereon. So Jesus is explaining to them everything that y'all doing and everything that you're saying is completely wrong. And you're going to have to give an account on the day of judgment. That's why he said, woe unto you. Talking to the scribes and the Pharisees who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah. And I'm saying the same thing to these pastors, preachers, and teachers today. Everything that you're saying and doing is not true. It's not right. You're keeping your traditions and your man-made doctrines of your denominations and all this stuff. And you're blocking the kingdom of heaven for the people that want to get in. You're not going in and you're blocking people that want to go in. Verse 21. And whoso shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. So Jesus had to correct everything that they did because everything that they did and said was wrong. It was not true. And so that's what I'm doing by telling you what the scripture says. Uh, you got to understand what these pastors, preachers, and teachers are telling you. They're not telling you the truth. They're preaching this man-made doctrine of Christianity. <laughs> Jesus didn't come to start Christianity. Jesus is coming back for a people. And the people he's coming back for is Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. All the tribes of Israel. All the tribes. He's coming back for every last one of them. And they're scattered to the four winds. But he's only coming back for the ones that believe. If y'all don't believe, then you ain't getting in. And everybody else, I already told y'all, you're going to have to acknowledge who the real children of God are, who the real children of Israel are. You're going to have to acknowledge who Israel is. A lot of people don't want to do that. Israel is me. People that look like me. <laughs> We're scattered to the four winds. We are the children of Israel. We are the uh, chosen people of God. And if you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven, if you're not Israel, you're going to have to acknowledge who Israel is. And you can get into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. You can have eternal life, but you're going to be a servant of Israel. And that's what the scripture teaches. Now, if you're offended in that, be mad at me if you want to, but go back and search the scriptures and see if what I'm saying is true. Or just be mad. Stay mad. It's up to you. But that's what the scripture says. That everybody else is going to be a servant of, to Israel. So I'm telling you, all this stuff about Christianity is not true. Jesus didn't come to start Christianity. I'm not here... 
to 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 get likes or uh well, anything. If you don't like what I'm saying, don't listen. <laughs> if you want to say I'm a false prophet, you can say what you want to say. I'm going to preach what the word of God says. <laughs> so they call Jesus a devil. So <laughs> he said you're going to be persecuted if you preach the gospel. So that's persecution, I guess. Verse 23. Uh, no, verse 22. And he that shall swear by heaven, swear by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. See, God is the one that sits on the throne. Verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint, and ansing, and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. A lot of these antichrist corporations, 501c3 corporation of the state churches, they love the scripture because they talk about tithes. See? You're supposed to pay your tithe. Okay. But there ain't no money. He said tithe of mint, answering and coming. Where the money come in at? <laughs> so you're still wrong. <laughs> However you cut it, you're wrong. He said, have omitted the weightier, weightier matters of the law, judgment, and mercy, and faith. These are you have done, and not to leave the other undone. <laughs> you don't obey the scriptures. You don't do what the scripture says to do. So Jesus said, woe unto the scribes and the Pharisees. Woe unto you. That means damnation. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. And these pastors, preachers, and teachers... That's all they talk about is the tithe. <laughs> it's like they can't open their mouth until, unless they say tithe every Sunday. Okay, where the tithe at? That's all they care about. It's the money. They, they covetous. They lovers of money. Verse 24. Ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. <laughs> Jesus called the scribes and Pharisees blind guides. He said, you, you strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. A gnat is that little bitty pesty insect that fly around and you're doing all this stuff. <laughs> he said, they strain at that. They can't swallow it. <clears throat> but they uh, swallow a camel. A camel is a hundred times bigger than a gnat. And he said, that's how the, the scribes and Pharisees are. That's how wicked they are. That's how far off they are from the truth. <laughs> the same way it is today with these pastors, preachers, and teachers. You're so far off from the truth, you can't even, you don't even know that you're in error. <laughs> you got all these people believing that Jesus is coming back for Christians, that he came to start a, a religion called Christianity. <laughs> and they, Christianity is a form of the name of Christ. Jesus said, many will come in my name and deceive many. That's the name that he's talking about. That's the name that's people that are being deceived by. Verse 25, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye may clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Again, he's talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah, the scribes and the Pharisees, calling them hypocrites, saying, Woe unto you! You may clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. See, that's how it just for show. You go to these, these corporations, these Antichrist church system corporations, 501c3 corporations, and they got these nice buildings, and it's all clean and humongous and decorated. You think, wow, this is a nice building, a nice church. But Jesus said, you're full of extortion and excess. They just there to get your money. They robbing you without even having a gun. <laughs> they taking advantage of you, making merchandise of you. You paying for that building. <laughs> but folks just go and do it anyway. Just how they used to listen to these scribes and Pharisees. Verse 26. 
Thou bland Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. <clears throat> you got to clean your heart out first. You're trying to preach the gospel of the kingdom, but your heart is corrupt. <clears throat> you can't preach with a corrupt heart. Same way it is with these preachers. They're doing it for money. These pastors, preachers, and teachers. <laughs> Let, let one of them stop getting paid. See how long they'll keep preaching. <laughs> Their heart is corrupt. Jesus said, clean the first that which is within the cup and the platter. And the outside of them may be clean also. Y'all doing everything for show. Look at me. Look how clean I am. Look how well dressed I am. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it ain't about what you look like on the outside. It's about what you look like on the inside. Verse 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. <clears throat> That's how these buildings are. They appear to be all that in a bag of chips on the outside. Oh, I'm going this. But it's just a dead building, a dead church. It's a tomb. <laughs> Ye are like unto white sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones <laughs> and all uncleanness. You go into it, and it's, it's a tomb. It's a graveyard. <laughs> it's where dead people go. There's no life in there because <laughs> they're not preaching the truth. <laughs> people come out same way they go in. No, no life. They go in dead and come out dead. <laughs> a lot of hooping and hollering. Man, didn't they preach? What they preach about? I don't know, but it sounded good. <laughs> Ignorant. Still don't know the word of God. Want to call themselves a Christian, but they don't want to obey what the word of God say to do. None of them want to call themselves a disciple. Because <laughs> their pastors, preachers, and teachers don't teach them to call themselves disciples. Oh, you're a Christian now. You're a member of this church. You're a member of this congregation. You need a church home. That's all they teach and preach. <laughs> you need a church home. You need to be a member. And come pay your tithe. <laughs> it's dead. Everything that they do is dead. They don't teach you the scriptures. They don't teach you the word of God. Verse 28. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. But within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Talking about the scribes and the Pharisees, Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah. Yeah, just because you have the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah, Hebrew Israelite, you don't have a, 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 a punch ticket to heaven. If you don't obey the scriptures, you're not getting in. <laughs> you, you're de you're, 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 you're going to go to hell. <laughs> you're destined for damnation. That's why Jesus said, woe unto you. <laughs> so it's the same way it is today. You pastors, preachers, and teachers, even though you may be Israel and of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah, if you don't believe the scriptures and do what the scripture says to do, you're putting your own life in jeopardy of damnation, of hell, because you're not following the word of God. You appear outwardly to be righteous, but within you're full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Teach the truth. Tell the people who they are. Teach them about the kingdom of God. And who the kingdom of God is for. It's for Israel. Israel is the church. Verse 29. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. So Jesus is laying it on. He keeps telling them, Woe unto you, you scribes and Pharisees. Again, the scribes and Pharisees are the preachers, pastors, and teachers of, the, of that day. He, Jesus called them hypocrites. He said, You build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. <laughs> the prophets came unto them and preached, and they killed them, and they built them tombs after they killed them. <laughs> and Jesus said, You garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. You steal everything that they have. You you, you just you 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 crooked through and through. Everything about you. 
These pastors, preachers, and teachers are the same way. They just care about your money. That's why they want these memberships, so they can get more money. <laughs> Verse 30. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. <laughs> so they said, yeah, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we wouldn't have been partakers. We wouldn't have did what they did. <laughs> Jesus said in verse 31, Wherefore, you be witness unto yourselves that you are the children of them which kill the prophets. You testify unto the, yourself that you are the children that kill them. So you're the same way as they are. In the same way it is today, the pastors, preachers, and teachers. You're the children of these scribes and Pharisees. You're the ones that are keeping the people out of the kingdom of heaven. You're testifying that you're just like them. Verse 32. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. <laughs> just how your fathers did, you're doing the same thing. That's why you're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Even though you're Israel, even though you have the seed of Abraham, even though you have the tribe of Judah, Excuse me. And the kingdom of heaven is for you. <laughs> the kingdom of heaven is for Israel, but you're not going to get in. Because you're filling up the measures of your father. You're doing the same thing they did. You're not obeying the scriptures. You're not doing what they says to do. They say to do. You don't believe. So you're not getting in. Verse 33. You serpents, you generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? <laughs> Jesus telling them, y'all not going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Period. Because you ain't even preaching the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Jesus called them serpents. <laughs> you serpents, you generation of vipers. <laughs> that was in the garden. See, they kept eating up their tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's the devil's tree. And that's what they're preaching. They're preaching all this humanism stuff. Everything the devil told Adam and Eve, they believed it. They sinned. And so the world, Israel, is still eating up that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Thinking you got to have all these degrees and accomplishments. And <laughs> you got to have this building. Following the doctrines and traditions of men. To get into the kingdom of heaven. That's all a lie. It's the devil, they believe in the, the, the hype that the devil is telling them. Jesus is calling them the serpent. You serpents. You generation of vipers. So the same way it is today. The, the Antichrist church system. <laughs> these Christian churches. Protestant churches. Catholic churches. All of them. Antichrist church system. 501c3 corporations. You serpents. You generation of vipers, how can you escape damnation of hell? You better get it right and repent. Verse 34. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of them you shall kill and crucify. Some of them shall you scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Jesus is prophesying. The word of God. He said, I send unto you my prophets and wise men and scribes. And some of them you shall kill and crucify. And that's what Israel has done. You've been led astray. Blind leaders are the blind. So you following what you've been taught about the tradition of men and tr their man-made doctrine. And instead of believing the, the prophets and the wise men and the scribes that the Lord have sent. Instead, you, you killed them, you crucified them. And some of them you scourge in your synagogue and persecute them from city to city. And it's happening today. Not to that degree yet, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Everybody that stand up and tell you the truth about the gospel... Especially the kingdom of heaven. And that is for Israel. Even though a lot of Israel is not going to make it. Because they don't even believe that it's for them. They think it's for Christians. 
But the ones that that stand up and preach and teach it and tell you that it's for Israel, those are the ones you're gonna Israel gonna beat them up, kill them, cast them out of the synagogue. I can't go in y'all church. Y'all won't let me. <laughs> uh, and persecute them from city to city. Yeah, if y'all only knew the things people have said to me. <laughs> That's why I got to go online and preach. Because I can't go into nobody's church. They won't welcome me. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't preach in here. You got to go. <laughs> but it's all good. The dynamics, the landscape of church is changing as we speak. The Lord is coming back soon and he's coming back for Israel that believes in him, that has faith in him, that obeys the word of God and does what the word of God says to do, his disciples. So, it's coming, a change is coming. Quick fasting and a hurry. Faster than you think. Verse 35 that upon you may come that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zachariah son of Bacchus whom ye slew between the temple and the altar so all these prophets Israel killed that came unto them verily uh, verse 36 Jesus said verily I say unto you all these things shall come upon this generation Everything that you've done unto these prophets is going to come upon you because you don't obey the word of God. You don't obey the scriptures. You think it's a joke. You think it's for fun and for show. That's what these corporation antichrist church system is. The 501c3 corporation is a joke. It's a show. You go in there to be entertained. Man, the choir sang, sang, sang. The pastor preach, preach, preach. Everything about making you feel good. Getting your needs met. Ain't even about the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> oh, y'all want y'all kingdom of heaven right now here on earth. You want your blessings, everything right now. Because that's what your pastor, preachers, and teachers are teaching you and telling you. No, you can get it right now. You can have your blessings now. You can have your best life now. That's not the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Jesus said, all these things shall come upon this generation. The same way that you kill the prophets, <laughs> it's going to come back on you. Verse 37, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered you, thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wing, and you would not. <laughs> Jesus is saying, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, to kill the prophets. <laughs> because when you stand up for the word of God and you preach the word of God, <laughs> Jerusalem is where the temple was. And so all of, everybody came to Jerusalem for the sacrifices and for the ceremonies and, and, and for the uh, Passovers. And so... When the prophets preached and teach, Israel didn't, didn't listen to them. They stoned them. They killed them. They did whatever they wanted to do to the prophets. Jesus is that one of the, the prophets. He's the Savior. He's the Messiah. And they're going to do the same thing to him. And Jesus said, if they do that to me, they're going to do it to you. Me. Anybody that stand up for the truth of the word of God. If you ain't getting persecuted, that's because you're not preaching the truth of the gospel. When you stand up for the truth of the gospel, you're going to be persecuted. The Pharisees, the scribes, who was Hebrew Israelites in those days, they wasn't being persecuted because they wasn't preaching and teaching the truth. Jesus was preaching and teaching the truth. They didn't like it. And even the disciples, after the death and resurrection of Jesus, they preached and teach the truth. And even to the day... They preached and teach the truth. But they suffered persecution for it. But you got all those people that the Pharisees and scribes, they didn't get persecuted in the day. These 501c3 corporation preachers and teachers and pastors, they're not getting persecuted because they're just teaching their uh, tradition, their man-made doctrine. They're not being persecuted for preaching the truth. 
But when you stand up against what they're preaching and tell you tell your pe tell the people that everything that they're teaching and preaching is false doctrine, <laughs> we're the one to get persecuted. <laughs> so that's just how the scripture is. That's how Jesus said that's how it's gonna be. Verse 38, behold, your house is left unto you desolate. <laughs> so Israel, you 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 the kingdom of heaven is for you, but because you don't want to listen, a lot of you're not going to make it in. That's why the scriptures say on a remnant going to be saved. <laughs> I'm telling you who you are, but you're so caught up in this man-made doctrine and tradition of men about Christianity that you can't hear. <laughs> you, you won't listen. Verse 39. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth, till you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. <laughs> the name of the Lord. He is called the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When Jesus comes back, he's coming back for Israel. That's what he just said. You shall not see me henceforth, Till you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. He's talking to Israel. He's coming back for Israel. But all of Israel not going to go. That's why he told you the parable of the, 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 the virgins. Five was wise and five was foolish. All of them are Israel, <laughs> but five was wise and five was foolish. <laughs> the five wise made it in, but the five foolish didn't. <clears throat> so if you're Israel, I hope you're wise. Believe the word of God. Do what it says to do. Thanks for listening. Shalom. See you next time.